The rise we are seeing in respiratory viruses in children is unprecedented. The working parents I spoke with tell me it's constant, dealing with their kids getting sick, having to call out of work, or just trying to juggle both care and working at the same time. It was just medication after medication, trying to get it under control. Lisa Botcher's 10-year-old daughter contracted RSV earlier this month, breaking out in hives. I was just like, what is this? Because, like, when I get sick, I don't normally break out. Callie had to be out of school for five days. Her parents took care of her while working to avoid taking off too much time. Luckily, my husband was able to go third shift, so he did third shift and cared for her. Um, while I worked in the morning, but it was definitely a struggle. Not only is RSV posing a problem for some families, but doctors say colds, the flu, and COVID are plaguing children at an alarming rate. The rise we are seeing in respiratory viruses in children is unprecedented. My mom friends, we are all group texting. Um, everyone's sick at about the same time. Executive director of a nonprofit and mom of two, Ashley Brown, says it's a daily battle trying to be a present employee and mother of sick children. Children. I probably called out about three days because they were both sick at one point. You just do what you got to do and sometimes the kid's sickness um, trumps all the work that you have in your inbox and on your to-do list. Doctors say that while parents may feel powerless, there are still some things they can do to help protect their child and themselves. If anyone has symptoms, if they have a runny nose, if they have an earache, a sore throat, any type of a symptom of a respiratory illness, Please, please wear a mask and try to distance yourself from others as much as possible. Reporting in Atlanta, Brittany Klein-Peter, 11 Alive News.